All right, so we're back two weeks after we did the renovations here, looking really good. What I'm gonna do today is just gonna show you what I do on a regular routine visit, clearing leaves on how I do it, and then cutting the grass, etc., etc. And maybe you can pick some tips up. So let's get to it. So if we just cast our mind back two weeks when we turned up to do the scarifying, over this side we had a lot of yellow patches which we put down to leaf spot and we hope that feeding it and the temperatures dropping, this will grow out, which has been the case. We scarified it with the alert, scarifying attachment and then we scalped it really short with the hater and then we went on with the autumn punch and give it a good feed and then last week I came back and gave it an Orbit and GMS67 application and this is where we are today. So just have a quick walk over to where the troublesome yellow patches were. They seem to have gone now. We'll know more when we've cut it. I cut it last week and then went on with the Orbit. They hadn't quite gone last week but this week the, Orbit, um, the Autumn Punch has really kicked in so we're in a better position, much more even across, across the way there. That's still looking really really ill because I've not touched that yet, just out of the weather. But this area is looking absolutely fantastic because even over here, you could see where I'd seeded, but that's all blended in now perfect. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna get the leaf rake out because horse chestnut stalks, these leaves are horse chestnuts, they're big. We're gonna get those up because if it rains and they get stuck on the grass, they're gonna squash and they're gonna cause a lack of light, which in turn will cause disease. We're just on the decking area. We've got some of the stalks I've just noticed as well. So what I'm gonna do first is I'll blow this decking off onto the lawn, blow everything onto the lawn, all those stalks onto the lawn, then I'll rake those up, and then the rest of the leaves that I've blown off here will get picked up by them all, because there's no point sweeping these up. We'll just blow them onto the lawn and let them all pick them up. Like along here as well, more importantly under here as well, because we're not gonna get our tweezers out and start picking those out with the, the slate there. So that's all just blow as many as we can onto the lawn. There's no point doing a, a, an absolutely fantastic job because they're falling quicker than I can pick them up. So there's no point, but if we get those off, because what'll happen is those will rot down and then create soil, which then means there's weeds gonna start growing in the slate, which is what we don't want. So that's why we wanna get those off. It's just a weekly thing at the moment. So it keeps me busy, keeps me out of trouble. But yeah, lawn's looking really good for this time of year, really pleased. So. I think it's gonna look mint when I, when I cut it before we go. And I'll, if I can, it has rained a bit, but it's still very fair. I might cut it with the rotary and then the cylinder as well. And we'll really get it looking smart before we go. So let's crack on with the picking up of the leaves anyway. All right, so that gravel's looking a lot better. All the leaves now are on the lawn. Don't need to rake these up. The rotary mower will pick these up. Also, as you saw, blew out down the channel there. Looks really a lot neater. Like I say, no point doing a great job because there's still plenty to come off yet. But what it is, it's just stopping those leaves, let's say, rotting down or even blowing back on the lawn after we've been. So what we'll do now is we'll get all these stalks picked up and then we can get on with the mower. All right, so we've got all these leaves raked up now with the stalks. The mould will just roll over them, so it's very important that you pick them up. You might as well do it now in one go. And I just get them, stick them in the bin. 
true story about this bin is that 1999, round about this time, I was pulling up at a job and lo and behold, there was two of these bins just sat, sat there on the pavement and we didn't know who they were or where they come from. But anyway, we thought we'll have them with. There was two, and my friends got the other one. We still got them. And uh, they're, they're about 800 pound each, these, we looked up at the time. So absolute result, served, uh, served as well. And coming down here, handles broke, but that one still works because it is picking up like that anyway, perfect. So that's where that bin came from. Let's go and put it in the green bin. All right, so I just thought I'd show you the lawn up close, looking really healthy for this time of year. What we did really paying dividends now. The autumn punch that we put on, really kicking in, and the magnesium and the iron in there really giving us that deep green colour, and the 6% nitrogen there, just giving us that boost of growth, but not a lot, which is what not what we want at this time of year. So time to get with the rotary mower. We'll get it cut, and we'll see how it looks, and decide whether we're going to go on with the cylinder or not to give that extra, extra special finish. All right, now what do you think? I think that looks absolutely fantastic. I'm really pleased with that. I didn't think it would come up that good, but I really have done a good job there. This time of year, that's looking mint. We want to see it with a cylinder, don't we? Hands up if you want to see it with a cylinder. I've already thought ahead. It's already out, ready to go. So let's give it a go and see what we can do. Oh my God, that looks absolutely amazing for this time of year. That is absolutely beautiful. Look at the difference between the rotary and the cylinder cut, that definition we get. That extra roll as well just pushes that grass further down, giving you that high definition. Wow. All right, that concludes the video for today and this will be the last video i do here this year because there's nothing else to do we're just going to keep mowing this and see how far we can go if you're lucky I might just do something if the weather holds but if not we'll see you next year i think you'll agree it's looking absolutely fantastic with what we've done if you think i'm crazy and shouldn't have done it let me know but if you think i was right and i did the right thing and they were reaping the benefits do me a favor and press that subscribe button so until we meet again Keep them leaves off your lawn. That's the most important thing you can do because that will kill your lawn if you don't. And then we'll meet again next year here, but I'll see you next time when we're doing something else lawn related. Bye.